We have a group called Elementary Resource Sharing Group. Um, this is a space in Schoology where we have a repository of resources. Um, resources that can be used with children, resources that can be shared with families, and resources that can help us as educators. Um, our resource hub is a place for us to get resources and also a place for us to add resources. Um, the resource sharing information page gives information on the types of resources to share as well as some guidelines for um, choosing resources to um, upload into this group. Um, please feel free to add resources that will help our group and community of educators grow. Um, materials can be added. Uh, just keep in mind the acronym CAPS when you go to upload anything. Um, just think about whether or not what you're uploading uh, that the content is aligned, that the materials are accessible, that it's pedagogically sound, and that it's shareable, we have to be really careful with copyright. If you're a classroom teacher today, you'll be looking mostly at the math resources. When you click on the blue math resources folder, you'll notice that um, they're broken up into grade level. You'll click on the grade level that your learners are associated with, and you'll notice that there are different topics and these are the topics that are aligned with the unit plans that our curriculum is built around. Um, each topic has ICANN statements, and when you click on those folders, you'll notice that there are anchor strategies, apps to reinforce the skills, and useful links. Um, each one of these folders is populated with at least one um, resource that you may choose to use. What you're going to do today is you're going to be co you're going to be copying these folders into your course. You'll simply do that by again clicking on math. You can see that the grade one math folder was copied into my course. Um, you just simply click on grade one math and you'll see the subfolders in there with the I can statements. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on place value and I'm going to take a look at the different materials in each of these subfolders. Some of them you're going to look at and you're going to think, wow, this would be really great to share with families, or wow, this would be really great to use with kids, or huh, this is something that I can look at and it can help inform what I'm going to do. Some of the things you're going to want visible, some of the things aren't going to make sense to be visible. Some of the things you might think, I'm not really ever going to use this, and that is all okay. What you'll do is you can either hide mater uh, materials in here, or you can delete them. So here's an example of a number sense trajectory, and it might be something that you think would be good to share with families. If so, keep it in your folder. However, if you don't think that you would want to use that, you can either unpublish it. That means it would be hidden to your kids and to your families, or you could delete it if it's something that you're not going to use. These are the resources that are currently in the grade one math addition and subtraction folders that I copied over from our elementary resource sharing group. 
Some of these you might use, others you might not. And again, if you don't use them or you don't see value in them, make sure that you unpublish or delete it from your materials. However, if there is something else that you use that you think other people would probably really benefit from using this as well, then please go back to our group, our elementary resource sharing group, and add it to the folder. That way other people can also learn uh, some new resources.